A squirrel touched my back last week and I screamed. But what I meant was, come here little animal, I too am like you. The lawn wailed like a fish scooped from its bowl, or perhaps just frightened by the squirrel's hurried hands. I begin daily, but it occurs inside parentheses. Meanwhile, the sky starts its slow descent, coming in from all directions. The distance between the sink, full from the party, and the colorless flowers seems to lessen. Still, breakfast is unhurried, lasting entire days. Laying down, I rehearse dialogues, like the one in which the actress says, Raj, if she loves you, she will see the girl in the back. I haven't looked over my shoulder for the farewell after the farewell, which is why events seem to last forever. If a poem is an attempt and briefness, what am I doing here? Even the nearby temple bells last long enough to chain. My house teems with unmovable objects. Amidst the bird song, the printer won't stop running. Reading lists, translations, bills, photocopies of friendship bracelets, what not. All this to say, a question that's unreadable. It is March already. This I know only from the hours on the window. Which is to say, I hope that everything needing warmth is warm enough. That everything that loves has the courage to be without measuring spoons. Despite this, when I say no, I mean, ask me in another language. Precious life that beats, it occurs in the blank spaces.